So now I know you talk about Pixar mm -hmm. and how they have these this sort of emotional core that, right. that can humanize a robot, pets, right, right, right. all sorts of, you know. Right. Well, the emotional core is part of a, of a bigger picture. Um, the reason I use Pixar is because, first of all, I'm a huge fan of Pixar and their stories. I've never been disappointed uh, with any of their stories. I think they're master masters of telling a story and specifically about characters and how to and, and connecting with characters especially since most of them are not human uh, but the the emotional core is really what I call the, the heart of the story and so the heart is obviously the character you care about but that's one half of the equation the other part of the equation is their um, their what I call the worthy motivation what is it that they trying to accomplish in the story and why should we care in other words usually there's an emotional stake from that goal. So for example, finding Nemo, he has to search for his son and something we connect with, we, we, we think it's a worthy motivation. Um, somebody, uh, so that's finding Nemo, sorry about fish. I, in, my, in my Pixar seminar, I compare two similar stories. In this case, both stories about fish and the ocean. One was finding Nemo, Pixar's, and I compared with Shark Tale, which is DreamWorks uh, story. And when you see, when I show the opening of uh, Shark Tale and, and the introduction of Oscar played by Will Smith, you, get, you can see the audience reaction when you compare the two clips, you know, who they care about. The reason we don't really care about Oscar in Shark Tale is because his whole motivation is about getting rich quick and about getting, you know, it's, it's something we relate to as human beings, but I've never seen a story, a film story about somebody who's trying to get rich and that's really successful, that's appealing, in other words, that we root for. Even though it's something that we do, we all like to, we're all ambitious and trying to get rich and trying to better our lives, but you never see stories about that. Uh, why is that? So, because we don't really, we, we realize it's not really kind of a worthy thing. It's not, it's not what it, life is about, right? Life's more about love and connecting and, and, and helping your friends. And if you look at the, the motivations for the characters in Pixar, and I have a slide with all, all the list of all the movies that they did and all the wordy motivation, and 90% are about saving the village, saving a friend, rescuing a friend, saving a friend, saving their mother, searching for their son. I mean, it's all relational. It's all relationships. And really the lesson you get from all stories, at least from what I'm aware of, is that it's all about relationships, about connecting with people. Um, so. It's all about love. <laughs> uh, so that's the thing about Pixar. So, it, so you, you, make, you make us connect with a character, and then we have to see them for two hours doing something, and we, we really have to root for them to do that. So the, when it's a worthy motivation, then we root for them, and we're, we're connected with them, and we, we're engaged because of it. What are some of the questions people ask you when you do talk about Pixar? Because you were saying earlier that a lot of people want to do sort of their own biopic or their, you know, just Yeah, um, I usually get the writers who do animation, uh, who, who come to the Pixar one. Um, and so the question I always get is, is how, do, how do I get my script to Pixar? Oh, how, do, okay. how do I get Pixar to do my script? Uh, so, which, which is easily answered because they do everything is internal. They, they do their own, you know, it's all uh, director driven. So whoever is at Pixar, they do their own thing. And they don't, they, they very, they, I've never seen them taking uh, a script from outside and making that, so it's all internal. They may use a out, outside screenwriter, like they use Michael Arndt for Toy Story 3. And I think the original Toy Story, they had a whole bunch, including uh, Joss Whedon. Uh, but they, most of it is internal, so it's all internally driven uh, from concept to, to finish. So, so the answer is forget about it. <laughs> right. Any other questions, or is that the that's only one? That's pretty much the best one. And then, the, and then the other question I get is, um, you know, about my character. You know, they've they've gotten probably feedback on their character not working, and it's usually because they're not doing what I what I tell them to do, which is the whole you know pity, humanity, admiration. Uh, they're just not using the techniques, and so they create the character. Uh, mostly, you know, maybe they're showing us their traits, but we just don't really care about them, and so that's that. <laughs>